All right, guys, it's me, Mr. Krabs, and I'm a little bit ticked off today. You want to know why? Because I don't know how to do a Mr. Krabs voice. This is your last chance, Krabs. Give me the <laughs> recipe. Or I'll good. blow you up. Head off? Everything. Oh, you said, I thought you said blow your, and then you no, didn't say blow you up. You know what? I'm just gonna blow you up. Never mind. This you've had too many chances before. No, no. Ugh, just get in the lava. Man. Get in the lava. Oh, I'm, I survived. I'm good. I'm gonna destroy <laughs> your lobster trap. The all your customers. Yeah, a little plankton. Uh, well, guess what? We are here for a brand new secure base challenge. Now, we have gone through and made these bases wicked sick. We have some rooms, but they need last minute details. So, Kraken Kid is plankton. He's going to have the chump bucket, and I am Mr. Krabs, and I have. What did you just call crab. me? Uh, plankton. You called me a chum bucket? You I don't appreciate that. You own the chum bucket. It's over there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, pretty much what this challenge is gonna this challenge is gonna have is stage one, me and Kraken will go to our bases in separate calls and deck out our bases with uh ways to break in, but uh we're gonna try to secure it as best as possible with like laser turrets. We got uh, uh some NPCs that will attack, uh there's some other cool stuff. And stage number two we will be switching sides, and I'll be trying to break into the chum bucket. He will be trying to go into the Krusty Krab. Good luck. Yeah, you're going to be making uh, some SpongeBob clones that I'm going to try and disable. Evil SpongeBob clones. And uh, you're going to be trying to go into the Krusty Krab and, uh, well, uh, steal the recipe. You know what? I'm going to turn you into some chum. You're, you're making a lot of threats over there, Mr. Plankton. Mm-hmm. Money, 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 money. Mr. Krabs is not going to let that happen. I got some cool stuff. We got security cameras, traps, all that stuff. We're going to try to deck out this base a little bit more with extra level of security. Yeah, run off, little girl. Talk smack, get hit. <laughs> yeah, just look at my evil SpongeBob clones. All right, all right. I got 15 minutes to fortify this base, so I'm just going to get right to it. You see, I got these evil minion spongebob.exe clones and they are ready to kill that crab and we can get the formula once and for all and then i got this we got uh let's just show you real quick so i need to set up the code this one i'm gonna do something crazy i'm gonna go 76 87 Cha-ching! He's never gonna guess with that one. That's like, that's a crazy number. No one would ever think of that. So all you just gotta write that down on this booklet right here. Sign. This will be pass one. Sign and close, everybody. Sign and close. Well, uh, you see those uh, books over there? They were crashing me, so I had to go ahead and. We are using the clipboards instead. Now, if you got a problem with that, you can talk to my wife, Karen. All right? Mm-hmm. So, we got... Ooh, they're looking mighty evil there, SpongeBob. So, the passcode for that one is set. Now, what do we got to do for the second one? Oh, this could be... Uh, it'll do... Four... Two... Zero nine. Mmm. That should be that should be pretty juicy. Four two zero nine. Alright, we have to put that on the second clipboard and then we gotta figure out how we are gonna hide these so the Maverick never finds them. One of them is gonna be dropped by SpongeBob, the other one you know, hang on, let me just get rid of that. Ooh, hey there SpongeBob. Thought I had secret chest. Yeah, secret chest right there, so I could hide a chest in the wall and make sure he never finds it. You're looking mighty evil today. Just prepare yourself, Krabs is coming. He is. Oh, Karen. Look at all this electronics that's moving. You're looking very beautiful today, Karen. All this good work. Oh, I see the clones are coming out beautifully. We're gonna have so many. Alright, alright. So 
So yeah, this is basically where Travis is gonna try to get because he's gotta destroy Karen. That's not gonna happen. We ain't gonna let it. So I'm gonna go ahead. I forgot my own password. I got I gotta write these down for me too. Four two zero nine. Four two zero nine. Thank you very much. Alright. So where should we hide the second one? This is the one we're gonna use the tr secret chest for. Someplace like that. That sticks out though, that you know. Uh Okay, so you can climb up on those. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's great. So he needs to find the 4209, which is that one. If you guys tell him the passwords, or where to find the passwords, because this is going to be a two-part episode, so you guys can cheat. And if you do, I will find out, and I will turn you into chum, just like that penguin. Slash crabs, because he's a penguin playing a crab, so he's both. And we'll turn you into penguin crab pancakes. Alright, so I got that one hidden, and now we gotta get through this one, seven, six, eight, seven. Did I remember it? I remembered it. Now I just gotta pick out which one of these Spongebobs is gonna drop the first code. Hmm, and I'm gonna make him a little stronger. Don't tell Cody that either, because I might, he might be like, oh, you cheated, you made him stronger. I'm gonna be like, ha ha ha, there's no cheating. You look the most evil. Are you ready to protect? The passcode? I think he is. I think he is. Alright. So drop chance. Clipboard. 100%. <laughs> you better not die. So let's see what you got for house. 550? Let's make it 500. No, I'm just kidding. That'd be too OP. But we'll, we'll, we'll double. We'll, go, or we'll do them all. We'll do 125. Because you want it to be the last one that he kills. If he even manages to kill all you guys. Alright. So I think we got some turrets that I can be placing. We already got the capacitors placed, so I don't need those cr creative capacitors. I do, however, need the turret bases. And... Where are the turrets? I, I just had the turrets. Did I throw them on the ground? Well, okay, they were sitting right here the whole time. <laughs> you guys are probably like, what an idiot! Well, you know what, everybody... Oh, we're allowed to do slash fly. Everybody has their turn to be an idiot sometimes. That's just how it is. Okay, that one's placed. That one's placed. That one's placed! Now we must add the laser turrets! Oh, these things are so beautiful. Actually, I'm gonna put one underneath. Because I think I can... Do that, yes, there we go. Now I believe I have to configure them because they normally don't attack players, okay. So attack players. Yes, yes, yes. I hope they're just not, all right, they're not gonna attack Spongebob's because they'd be doing it already. So configure attack players, yes. And, all right. We got another. I believe we're not allowed to place more than what's already there. I will double check them. Because if we are, I got all of those other ones. Um, so I don't think we're going to use all the turrets, just the ones that the capacitor banks are already placed. Alright. No! Oh! It's hard to do it because I have to fly and place at the same time. Okay. Configure tech players. <laughs> He's never gonna get past this. There's so many lasers. This is ridiculous. We got two more here, two more there. I believe I think that's a neutral over there, so I don't know who gets that turret. Okay, place one there. What was that? You better not be trying to blow my stuff up again. I did a video with him and Joe yesterday, and they, it was a base challenge, and halfway through the challenge, we were in separate calls, him and Joe decided to blow up mine and Selena's base before we even started the challenge. I was super mad. Super mad! So maybe I'll do that to him today. Should I blow up that lobster trap? Hmm. 
before the game even gets started. Just toss a couple nukes at it, you know. A couple nukes never hurt no one. Alright. Configure. Attack, attack, attack! Did I do those ones? I think I did. Yeah. Oops. I'm not adding no trusted players. Definitely not the Cody Maverick. Alright, so all the turrets are placed! Oh no! I don't know what just did that. Ow! Is this some kind of trap? Oh no, he's shooting! Oh, it's the lasers! Oh, <laughs> I thought I was, like, flying over something that was causing the damage. No, it's those lasers. Oh, that way they work pretty good. Did mine shoot? Will it shoot the zombie? No, I don't think so. Get away from me, Mr. Zombie! You're not gonna go. SpongeBob, not yet. The war is not here. You need to get down from your post. I got a few cage traps I gotta place. Alright. Uh, actually, I think I should dig them in. I'm gonna dig them into the ground. Let's see how they blend in. Dude, that blends in pretty good. I think he might fall for one of those. If you guys don't know what these do, if you step on that, it springs up this like trap and cages you. It's pretty cool. We've used them in a few of the challenges before. Ooh, I didn't get that block. Um, alright. Should I put some inside too? I don't know. I'm gonna put one like right after you. Yeah, because he might just be coming down, not even notice. Throw one here. You know what? There's five or four left. I'm gonna put a couple inside. I am, I am. Okay, what is it? Seven, six, eight, seven. Alright, my memory's getting a little bit better. Alright, we'll throw one there. I wish they had, like, ones that you could, um, you know, like, disguise it with the block, kind of like the secret chest. Alright. Put one here. I don't think I'm gonna put the other two. That should be good. There's one other thing I wanted to do for sure, though. Well, I gotta place the spikes. Those are awesome. Those are one of my favorite items. Mm, secret chest, secret pressure plate. Oh. Yes, we're doing that. Secret pressure plate. And then these we can make a pit. Ooh, this jump block too. Jump block, creative capacity. Alright. So let's go ahead. Where should we put it though? What if I did the boxes? He wouldn't expect that. Like even if he, because if he sees those, he'll be like, "Oh, I see that." You know. So what if I make? Hmm. How would I do that though? Because if he steps on the thing. If he steps on the secret pressure plate, and I have the vanishing blocks, those will open up. But he still needs to walk like one square further, so maybe that won't work. Maybe I can make it a lever and then I can just run him all the way over here. Hmm. Decisions. Mr. Spongebob. Alright, let me just try it and see what happens. Alright, so we need this to be kind of deep. Alright, so that's sand. But let's see what this looks like. Or if it, even if it will work. See if it even will work. Alright, moment of truth. Let's get these crates up there. Let me get that fixed. No, not there. Alright, place that, that. I mean, the only way it's gonna work, guys, is if he just keeps walking. 
<laughs> well, that's gonna be cool if it does break though. He's just yeah, gonna have to... it's gonna be cool. Oh. You know what's gonna be cool is when I win this. Hi, uh, Cody. Uh, what's going on? Are you shooting something? No. Stop! Oh, I just TP'd ears. you. Stop! Your lasers no. are gonna kill me. Kill him! No! <laughs> Uh, okay guys, so stage number two will actually be a part two video instead of being the same video Just because Kraken Kid's gotta go home and uh, he's gotta go tend to his girlfriend Oh, blame it on me, why don't you? Oh yeah, God. but somebody's gotta take the blame for this one uh, So yeah, we will be doing this in two parts guys. We built our bases Don't go and tell Kraken Kid all the secrets that I laid for him, okay? Don't do it <laughs> If you tell him my secrets, I'll turn you into chum <laughs> That's, that's aggressive. Nuggets. Be sure to leave a like, chum guys, nuggets. if you love oh chum nuggets. I love chum nuggets. Be sure to leave a like if you like uh, you love these, and uh, we'll catch you in part two coming tomorrow. <laughs>